on the blue nose, eh? We, we totally are, eh? Eh? Don't you know? Take off, eh? Eh, ya hoser. A former rum running shipbuilding port town and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Postcard Perfect Lunenburg is a fishing village of brightly painted British colonial buildings built in the 1750s, about 60 kilometers from Halifax. Lunenburg is now a charming, walkable town and a must stop on any trip to Nova Scotia. And if you enjoyed a show called Lock and Key on Netflix, you may recognize this town because, well, this is the town that they filmed in to be based in Maine, USA. The original Blue Nose, the Queen of the North Atlantic fishing fleet, was a schooner of 285 tons. Launched in 1921, she won a Herald Trophy, emblematic of the sailing championships of the International Fishing Fleet. Never defeated in her native waters, she successfully defended her championship in 1922, 1923, 1931, and 1938, becoming a symbol of national pride. After achieving renown as a successful working schooner, the Blue Nose was wrecked and lost off Haiti in 1946. In 2012, Blue Nose 2 went through a structural rebuild, and right now she is owned by the province of Nova Scotia and operated by the Lunenburg Marine Museum Society. The main mast right here is 125 feet high, and the foremast is 118 feet high. She is 161 feet long, 27 feet wide. She displaces almost 300 tons. There are a total of eight sails, but today we'll, we will only be hoisting four. While under sail, the ship can, has attained 16 knots. The vessel carries 19 crew members and we operate from April 1st until October 15th. Captain Angus Walters, a legendary sailor and fisherman, symbolizes Nova Scotia's fishing heritage. He won five consecutive international fishermen's races at the helm of the famed Blue Nose between 1921 and 1938. A source of tremendous pride for Nova Scotians and Canadians, especially during the Great Depression. A Highliner captain, Walters landed some of the largest catches brought into Lunenburg Harbour by a sailing vessel. His sailing, prowess, ability as a fisherman, and fame brought international attention to the Atlantic Canadian fishery. We are sailing folks. We have four out of eight of the sails up today. It's actually a pretty good wind and we're just uh, going for a little sail. So this is something that Nelson and I have wanted to do for a few years living in Nova Scotia, but because of COVID, they of course haven't had that option. So now it's like literally the day before, it is the 13th of July, which is the day before the Packers come to pack all of our stuff up. So we yep. were really happy to be able to go and check out the Blue Notes. It's definitely a bucket list thing. Gotta yeah. get this done. Yes. We have three years in Halifax and it's like two days before we're leaving. Yeah, exactly. Catching a good wind is one of the most exhilarating sailing moments to be experienced on Blue Nose 2. Cutting through the waves as the wind stretches the sails and the vessel picks up speed is a rush that's not forgotten. At sea, Blue Nose 2 operates 24 hours a day based on 4 hour watches. The majority of the crew follows a schedule of 4 hours on watch duty followed by 8 hours off. What that watch brings really depends on the conditions at sea. On a good day, the crew is sailing, setting more sail, and just enjoying the movement of the Blue Nose 2 on the water, where other times call for all hands on deck. The entire crew is on watch, setting and striking sails and steering the vessel in more challenging conditions. The general rule is, the more wind, the more work. As any member of the crew will attest, serving the Blue Nose 2 is a life-changing time. It is a chance to discover what it really means to work hard and meet challenges. Many come on board with no experience, which is preferable, and by the time the season ends they are amazed at what they have learned. The unique moments that they experience stay with them long after stepping off of that deck. Being part of a crew is a chance to do something few people have had the opportunity to do in their lives. 
sea and travel the ocean abroad a traditional sailing vessel, keep it moving and visit places near and far to share with the public. There are times on Blue Nose 2 that are all about working hard together as a crew. And then, out of nowhere, the sea offers up a perfectly calm day for everyone to enjoy. Sometimes there will be a swim call. Everything stops so that the crew can take a dip into the ocean. Once in a while, the dories will be launched to go rowing. A few interesting facts about Blue Nose 2, it had some interesting owners. The construction of Blue Nose 2 was actually financed by the Olin Brewing to promote its product. The Olin family also used the vessel as a private yacht before selling it back to the province of Nova Scotia in 1971. When the crew sit down for a meal on the Blue Nose 2, they gather around a table that's actually made of wood and stone collected from every province and territory, enhancing the ship's role as Canada's sailing ambassador. And of course, we ended this beautiful day in Nova Scotia with an ice cream, although they serve fudge as well, but we stuck to the nice cold stuff. Thanks for hitching a ride with us on the most historic Blue Nose 2. On our next episode, Nelson, Monty, and I take you to Quebec City. You'll hitch a ride with us through the capital of Quebec, a gorgeous fortified colonial core with stone buildings and narrow streets. See the historic Chateau Frontenac looking over us. We also bring you along with us to experience the delectable food and delightful drinks we tested for science, of course. We share with you all the amazing and beautiful things and places to see around the Quebec area. So come hitch a ride with us to Quebec City.